Hey now, I am back in the basement. I just recorded Derek Jeter. I spent like two hours on Derek Jeter, and I figured, God, I got some momentum going. Let's move to Ban Johnson. A lot easier than Derek Jeter. Uh, I would call him easy, but easier for sure. Uh, ben Johnson is most Hall of Fame autographs. Collectors know was basically the creator of the American League. It started off as the Western League. Uh, Charles Comiskey appointed him. Basically, there's a lot of rowdiness, for lack of a better term, in the National League. And so Charles Comiskey wanted him to take the Western League, which at the time was a minor league, and basically keep it under control. Make sure that the players learn how to be civil and the umpires are, don't, can learn how to keep control of the players on the field. Uh, basically, Ben Johnson was the one that said, like, an umpire should be someone – that people know during the game and no one knows after the game, which is a great in life is probably true in the game of baseball. And because of that, the Western League was so successful, it turned into the American League, and the National League decided that the American League, they formed a national agreement because the American League was stealing players from the National League. They pay more money, the owners were happy, the attendance was better. And so eventually he and like worked with some National League owners, including Bernie Dreyfus, who we talked about earlier, formed the World Series. And they created a three-member panel basically to run this major league. And Van Johnson was the first leader of that panel. And the panel was very successful until the Black Sox scandal, which was basically his downfall in uh, the late 1920s. But because of his role in the American League and the Major League Commission, whatever, he had signed a lot of documents, a lot of documents, a lot of contracts. They're not rare. They're out there. I wouldn't spend more than $500 on a contract for his or a doc or a signature. I would not buy a Ben Johnson cut signature. Uh, we talk, Ron talks about title issues may exist. We'll get to that in a little bit. The other thing with Ben Johnson that Ron talks about is possible secretarily signed letters. And I looked all around I found maybe one, maybe one, which of course I'll show. And that's about it. Let's get into the autograph analysis of Ban Johnson. Yes, unlike Cheetah, we're going to start with the PSA database. So a typical Ban Johnson autograph is very compact like this. You can see this was signed in 1919. Uh, the Bs, the autograph looks like basically it's falling to the right. So the Bs are almost right on top of each other. And you're looking at the end. He signed every letter of his name. And the Johnson looks like a W to me with the falling down. Sometimes you see the whole autograph falling down. But for sure, usually, not always, usually that W is falling down. So, I mean, every contract I've seen is good. Again, this is another one. He's, we talked about title issues right here, August Herman. So, are these stolen? Maybe. So, but again, you see how the Bs are right on top of each other. That W, well, N, but it looks like a W to me. And it's how it's falling down right there. That you want to look for to Ban Johnson autograph. This one I can't see real well. Neither can I. But you see how the whole autograph is almost falling down. The Bs are right on top and over each other. The N at the end looks like a W falling down. Again, another one to August Herman. Again, Bs all over each other. The J comes from the top, goes down. Usually the O is, not always, but usually the O is looped around. Later in life, he signed H's like O to the H like this. It's kind of unique like that. But I still think these are, these are good, how the O, at the, sorry, the N at the end looks like a W like that. It's still a little bit falling down. Uh, again, I think these are later in life. Again, here's a contract, uh, 1915. The Bs are on top of each other. I mean, these, his autograph is very unique. It's very recognizable. Uh, again, this is a cut signature, they say. But again, still the Bs are on top of each other. The whole thing's falling down with the N and the W. looks like it's falling down. So, uh, I mean, just looking at his autograph right here, uh, I think this is good. I'm just pulling up some random auctions. Bs are right on top of each other. This is 1921. See how the w, it's almost a flat plane with that W falls down. Again, that's what you're looking for right here. Uh, my autograph, this is mine. It's just a regular letter. Uh, unfortunately, the ink is feathered, so uh, it still holds up fairly well. It's not the best shape. And again, this is on my wall in my office. Uh, I tried to find some autographs recently from Heritage. I found this signed contract. Again, this is signed by Ben Johnson and Jacob Rupert. So you got two Hall of Famers, $870. Not terrible. I mean, that's a little, even for me, that's a little high. I think there was one, another one recently that sold for much less. Uh, 
last year. I can't find it right here. Yeah, right here. $348 for a Ben Johnson autograph. And again, autograph is fine. So just on a contract, exactly what you want to look for. So, I mean, this is not an expensive autograph per se. So the only one I could find that I did not like was this one right here. And this was a Nate Sanders. So I know who he is. He sells some legitimate stuff. But again, you see how it goes. Even this one still may be good. It's just the B is separated. Usually you don't see that BB Johnson like that. Uh, in addition to that, I mean, the W could see how it goes up, doesn't go down. And usually the J is not open like this. So uh, finally, there's no TPA that comes with this. So it's really thundering outside right now. So again, this is something that maybe could be a secretarial sign. So there's so many good ones. That there's no doubt about, so maybe just avoid one that looks like looks a little odd or looks a little different. There probably are secretarial signatures out there. I've never seen a Ban Johnson, B A N Johnson signature. Uh, Rich claims that, sorry, Ron claims that there's checks out there. I've never seen a check. Uh, the only thing I've seen that's weird, I saw one that was almost stand right to the left as I do this. So just watch out for the cuts. Buy a letter, buy a contract. No more than $500. Uh, not really tough at all. So I don't want to spend too much time on Ben Johnson after going through Derek Jeter. I'm wiped. But we're going to go to, like, the next Johnson. I think Johnson's the most common last name in the Hall of Fame with Robinson. Could be wrong. But uh, we're going to go to Judy Johnson, even though I guess it's really W. But anyways, I digress. Judy Johnson is next. Until then, as always, keep collecting.